In this video, we're going to be using South Florida Wet Shaver South Beach by Murphy and McNeil and the Timeless TI-95 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using South Florida Wet Shaver South Beach by Murphy and McNeil. This is a magnificent scent, in my opinion. It is nice. It is tropical, beachy. Um, good scent strength medium. Let's put the notes for you on the screen right there. It really comes across as a beachy tropical type of scent, which I absolutely love. The scent on this is absolutely killer and it is a Murphy and McNeil soap. So you know that the quality is going to be good. The cost on this, $23.99 for four ounces or $5.99 an ounce on our cost chart there, which is pricey, but this is the um, this is the Kodiak Bear Tallow Base. I'll put the notes for you right there. And this base tends to run a little bit more, but keep in mind at Murphy and McNeil in the United States, it is free shipping, no minimum. So, you know, it uh, brings the value up on this soap. I think it's not terrible, although it is uh, pricey, but man, I'm telling you right now, the scent on this one is so good. Um, I'm not even concerned that <laughs> it's a little pricey. It is a really, really great scent that I look forward to using today. We're also going to be using the Timeless TI-95. This is titanium, timeless uh, razors. The titanium starts out at 225 so you know, an expensive razor, but man, I love this razor and I love that handle and it is just a magnificent shaver and we look forward to using that today. Before we get into it, I'd gotten some questions about the brush drying hanger that uh, Mr. Rapp sent me. And uh, I just wanted to let you know, I will post his email below if you're interested in getting one of these. And you just, essentially what you do is put your your brush in here, and then you take that little knot and slide it down and hang it to dry. Um, I'll link Scott's information below. I also wanted to show you the version that I've used myself for years. And it is just a very simple paracord version where I just slide it down put the brush in and then I have the other end loop, hang it on a doorknob or something. So just paracord, just very basic. I've used this for years myself, but Scott of course made a much fancier and nicer uh, version. And if you're interested, again, I'll link his email below. All right, let's get into the shave today. We have about 24 hours growth. This is just plain water, the old Glen Helly mister. And we shall miss the face and we shall get started. AP Shave Coat Brush. And we've got a nice lather here with the South Beach. Magnificent scent. Murphy and McNeil soaps are really good quality. Whether you're getting the this base, which is the Kodiak um, Bear Tallow, or the regular Aeon base, I think they're both quite good. Great customer service at Murphy and McNeil. Now, I got this one from the Razor Company, and I will be picking up the splash if uh, Murphy and McNeil still has it, because I don't think the... The razor company had the splash at the time, or maybe they did and they missed it. I'm not sure, but man, what a scent this is. Whew. Very nice, tropical. The South Florida Wet Shavers group, I tend to like the scents that they collaborate on. Um, the only one I can ever remember not being a fan of was Citricuya from Barrister Man, because that one had a lot of, uh, there, there I go with my light there. Sorry about that. Apologies. That's sort of the the danger of operating in uh, unfamiliar <laughs> ter to ter territory here. Sorry, stuttering as well. That's not good, is it? But anyway, I tend to like those since the only ones, the only one I can recall not caring too much for was Citricuya because it was, to my nose, mostly green. And I wanted citrus, of course. <laughs> but uh, still, a lot of people enjoyed that soap as well. So they definitely do good collaborations. Usually when you see F South Florida wet shavers, on the top, it means you're going to get a nice, bright scent of some sort. All right, let's cut this back and get after it. We already know the equipment is great today. The only thing I need to do is do my job, and that is often the case with uh, traditional shaving. You're the most important factor by far, your technique. The blade, by, by the way, today is the treat, and this is a carbon steel blade. Very nice. This is an efficient razor, the Timeless uh, 0.95 blade gap. You can get this razor, of course, in stainless steel. But I believe, as far as I know, this handle, which is the crown handle, it might only be available in titanium. And it is fantastic. I really enjoy using this handle. 
I didn't think I would like it because it's long, but some handles, just the way they're made, they just feel great. And this crown handle is one of those. It is terrific. What a shaver this is. And one of the things I really like about Timeless is you see how the open comb there is rounded up. So you don't get a sharp point on your face. The downfall of some open comb razors, in my opinion, is that the teeth are, they're not, because they're pointed and not rounded, they come off feeling a little rough on your face. But not the case with this one. This one is open comb, but it comes across feeling like a closed comb razor because those teeth are, well, can't see it now, but because those teeth are curved up and around and it makes it feel very nice and very smooth and they're not pointy whatsoever. And so it feels great. And I really like that design. Of course, you know, timeless razors are made in Ohio, machined by Timeless, they don't outsource. Not that there's a problem with outsourcing the uh, production of razors, but they make everything themselves. They have uh, good customer service, great company overall, Timeless, and they make very good razors. And they tend to make them on the efficient side, um, but you can get like 0.68 blade gap razors and things like that. But a lot of the Timeless razors are fairly efficient, which I happen to like. And they're just great razors overall. And they're good looking too. This one, to my, you know, in my opinion, is a great looking razor. Of course, the looks don't shave you, but there is something about enjoying something that just feels good in the hand. It looks good. And I think this one certainly does that. All right, let's remist for pass two here. We'll probably keep it to two passes this morning. I got to go down and make breakfast for the folks and got a lot of stuff to do today, work and so on. So we'll try to keep it relatively short. I thank you all for bearing with me through these sort of travel videos. I'm much more comfortable shaving in my home den, you know, for the reason you saw earlier where I hit the, the plug there. And this particular sink is not super spacey. So I've got to rig something up in the corner here and it doesn't leave a lot of room, but on the other hand, I'm super happy to be down here spending time with the folks and helping out. I certainly feel good about that, and it's nice to it's nice to spend this time, even though it's not under the best circumstances, best of circumstances. It's still a privilege and honor, as I've mentioned before. Oh man, what a scent! I love this scent. It's bright. It's invigorating. This is the type of scent that you just, at least for me, brings a smile to my face. And uh, we're still getting these great summer scents. And I tell you, I am taking full advantage of them and I'll take advantage of them in the winter time too. I don't buy quite as many soaps in the fall and winter as I typically just do not like the fall and winter scents as much. They tend to go earthier and darker and uh, I just don't, I'm not crazy about earthy scents generally. I like some, but I definitely favor the spring and summer scents. To me, spring and summer is, is, is all about things coming to life, you know, and that makes me happy. Uh, conversely, fall and winter where things are dying, you know, not, <laughs> it doesn't make me very happy at all. Uh, let's go against the grain here and then we'll do a residual Cross the grain pass. Terrific razor here. The Timeless Titanium. And this one again is the 0.95 blade gap. And the treat blade here is on its uh, last use. I have enjoyed using it. It's been very fun to use. Nice smooth blade. I don't know how sharp it is, but it's sharp enough. I can tell you that. I don't know how sharp it is relative to other blades, but it's a nice, it's a nice blade. It's a nice looking blade too. It's, it's black in color. Again, carbon steel. So you don't want to leave a carbon steel blade in your razor. If there's any moisture at all, it will rust quickly relative to uh, stainless blades. I mentioned that the other day. Carbon steel is just much, much 
or prone to rust easier. So be careful if you leave it in the razor. I don't advise that you do. I don't ever leave blades um, in my razors. I disassemble them every time and clean them up, but that's up to you. Some people do leave a blade in the razor for a few shaves, but I certainly don't recommend that you do it long term. Uh, but it's your gear. Ultimately, it's up to you, but for those of you who are new, if you leave a blade in the razor, over time, what will happen is the blade is, will, will begin to rust, and the rust will transfer to your razor, even if it's stainless steel. It will eventually transfer, so just be careful, and my advice is take the blade out, clean up the razor, and dry it every time you use it. That's my guidance my official guidance, and especially if you're using a blade like this, which is carbon steel, because it will rust rather quickly if left in any sort of damp or humid conditions. So be careful with that. What a nice razor this is. Boy, I tell you what, this was one of those razors that was on my list to acquire in 2021, and I have, and let me tell you, I'm not disappointed by it. It's a really nice, smooth shaver. It brings some efficiency too. Uh, but overall, just an excellent shaver, I think. Very nice indeed. We'll do a little residual pass here, just across the grain. The soap quality, by the way, Murphy and McNeil, fantastic. Great scent, great quality, very, very slick. If you lather it properly, it will definitely uh, provide a great platform for you to shave on. Don't sleep on Murphy and McNeil. They have very good scents, very good products, and very good customer service. They're one of my favorite brands to use. And uh, they are very nice people as well. So you just can't beat Murphy and McNeil, in my opinion. All right. That was excellent. Very nice indeed. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off can. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock alum. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave following the alum. We did a cool water rinse and then we applied our Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Cucumber. And of course, we dried off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to applying the Witch Hazel. I wanted to show you the, the brush hanger again because some people have asked about it, the way it works is, this part of course attaches to whatever you'd like. It has a little slip knot right here. And you will just slide that down around your handle, your handle, excuse me, and hang it up. I'll show you my poor man's version that I've used that's always in my travel kit. And again, it's paracord. You can use any type of string you like. Same concept, although not as pretty. You just slide this little knot down and there you go, ready to go. So if you're interested in the one that Scott makes, Mr. Rapp, uh, I will link his email below, reach out to him. And uh, people ask, which is why I'm showing you. Anyway, uh, the razor for today was the Thomas TI-95. Fantastic, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved the South Florida Wet Shavers South Beach by Bur Murphy and McNeil. If you love beachy tropical scents, this is fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Of course, we used our Captain's Choice Bowl our AP Shaco brush, and we're gonna finish it off today with the Undercity by our Ariana and Evans, which has a nice aquatic vibe. And for me, this is my favorite aquatic scent of all time. It's just magnificent. Citrus, aquatic, it is fantastic. And man, whew, that was an excellent shave. Thanks so much for joining me, folks. Until next time, I've been your host, CDV, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.